Welcome to Econland, the macroeconomic simulation game and learning platform. The learning objective of Econland is to improve understanding of how an economy works and to see how monetary and fiscal policy decisions impact economic outcomes. By playing Econland, students of different levels learn to work with economic models and improve their analytical and critical thinking skills. Econland can be used to support all types of macroeconomics courses at high schools, colleges, and universities, as well as at companies and government organizations. Here is a quick overview of how it works. More detailed videos for students and instructors are available to license holders. After logging in, students see a game info page that gives them information about the objectives and rules of the game. Here they may also consult the student video or the student guide. After reviewing the game info page, the game can begin. At the start, students choose a scenario for the development of the world economy. Then students go through an analyze, decide, and review cycle for a period of seven years. Each year is equivalent to one round in the game. At the start of every year, a new world economic forecast is presented to the student. Then, a student needs to make four economic decisions regarding the interest rate, income tax rate, corporate tax rate, and level of government expenditure. Students will use the knowledge from their economics course to analyze how their decisions will have an impact on key economic outcomes, including GDP growth, unemployment, inflation, and the budget deficit. After submitting their decisions, players see how well they have done in each of the four results areas. The results are summarized in the approval rating for the year and the average approval rating for all the years played until now. A policy advisor gives personalized feedback based on the player's decisions and results. In addition to the summary dashboard page, there are reports available to students to get a deeper understanding of the determinants of their results. Once this information has been reviewed, the player can move to the next round, see the world economic forecast for the next year, and make new decisions. This cycle is repeated for seven years. The objective is to obtain the highest possible average approval rating for the seven years of the game. When the game is finished, the student results are kept and become visible to the student and the instructor. Students may play the game again and can change the scenario for world economic growth if they wish. While playing the game, students can consult the macroeconomics section to read about monetary and fiscal policy and to consult the glossary of terms. Students also have access to a range of other learning resources including videos, a weekly online economics newspaper, a discussion forum, and a quiz. Instructors have access to a dedicated section where they can access the teaching note, see the scores of their students, and change parameters of the underlying simulation model if they wish. Instructors and corporate trainers may start using the simulation game and learning materials at any stage of their economics course. Usually, Econland will be used in the second half of an introductory macroeconomics course, when some of the basic concepts are clear to students and the class is beginning to discuss monetary and fiscal policy. Altogether, Econland provides a simulation game and a learning platform that consolidates all the main components of an introductory macroeconomics course in a way that maximizes student engagement in their learning experience and improves student performance. Using Econland has the ability to save significant class and revision time compared to more traditional methods of teaching. It can be tailored to students of all levels and can be made to suit everyone's learning needs. If you are teaching economics at a recognized institute of education, you can sign up for a free trial on the Econland website.